this is Omote Sando and Aoyama. It is in uh, Harajuku. Pretty famous place. Uh, I'm on a, it's a Saturday right now. A lot of people out. The car accident happened right there. A little fender bender. You can hardly tell if they're going to make a mountain out of a molehill. You bet. They don't have attorneys here, but the cops do that job for them. So here we are, trying to cross the street. But I think I'm going to cross the street this side instead. But uh, towards this way is the um, Harajuku train station. Over this way is Shibuya. And it is a fun place to... Shibuya! 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 Yay! Shibuya! Saiko! Fantastic! What's your name? What's your name? Oh, Kentaro Higuchi. Kentaro Higuchi. Kentaro Higuchi. I'm a Jima. Jima? Nice to meet you. Hey, Jima. Nice to meet hey, you. Hey! 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 You take a, I'm a little tour here while you're walk talking. The subway system, you, you pop up and down, it's like New York, you pop up all over town like a mole. You go down, some places there's four, five, six different layers of subways. So you go down, you pop up, it's great in the summer when it's hot outside, you go down a couple layers, you're nice and cool. I've enjoyed this area, this is the Sando. Stroll from Omote Sando to Harajuku. And um, when I was a kid, actually it's still here, but there's a store called Kitty Land. So I'm born and raised in Japan. Everything is Japanese until one day my parents take me to Kitty Land. Unbelievable. Mickey Mouse. This is this would be the mid, late 60s. There's very little American things here. And so uh, Kitty Land was the place where I thought, wow, I could spend all day here. I could spend my entire life here. So, uh, this is kind of cool. This little dog is always a crowd pleaser. You see him? Nice doggy. Sit. Sit. Sit, Ubu. Sit. Just kind of hangs out here. Does his thing. This is the anniversary cafe. They have a lot of weddings here. It's a big place for weddings, and the bride and groom come down those steps there, you can see, and it's always a, a crowd pleaser. So here we're just strolling down a beautiful Saturday on my way to Harajuku train station. Very busy week. Century 21 offices are now all the way up northern Hokkaido which is the northernmost island. And here's another subway, another pop-out place. Let's just check it out. This is Omote Sando train station. So the place we were earlier is also Omote Sando train station. So you've got five, six, seven different exits. See so how clean they are? You can fry, you can eat a, you can fry an egg and eat it. I wouldn't want to do it, but you can. So here's Coach, Boss, all the big stores are here. So anyway, what I was saying was that we have uh, stores up and down Japan, up and down the coast, everywhere. People are staring at me. I'm the only guy holding a camera as I talk. And I'm facing this crowd fearlessly. Oh yeah. Talk to the camera because the hand and the ears are not listening. So anyway, they are all over Japan from northern Hokkaido all the way to Okinawa. The southern, most southern one is in Okinawa. It is our 30th anniversary in Japan. 30th anniversary, United Colors of Betinkan. How are you? Where are you from? Belgium. Where? Belgium. Really? How long have you been in Japan? That's very fine. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> he's, a, he's photobombing. So Not I'm, for you. We're just walking. You're just walking. Yes. You're just minding your own business. So, as I was saying, they're all over the country now. 
this is kind of cool. As this area here has developed really fancy, Louis Vuitton and everything, you've got the Bohemians that have kind of taken to the side streets here. This used to be really hippie land when I was a kid. They would sell, you know, jewelry by the side of the roads, you know, John Lennon, Beatles music in the background. Now it's all Louis Vuitton and Chanel and it's all fancied up. But what they've done is try to preserve a little bit. This is a really famous, like a, a Dancia, a low income housing complex. And they kept this part while they modernized the rest of it. So anyway, everyone's lined up for some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I'm gonna see how long I can make this video. Maybe I can make it like 20 minutes long. Five minutes, six minutes already. This is my absolute favorite Kaiten Sushi place. Right there. Kaiten Sushi is where you sit down and the sushi goes in a circle around you. You just grab, they have a couple of them in, in LA, a couple of them by my house in Hacienda. And there's one in Hacienda Heights, a couple of them over the hill. But it's really cool, you sit down and they bring the sushi in a circle to you. You just pick up what you want, then they charge you by the plate. And that is Heiroku Sushi, right there. I love it. Dolce and Cabana, right there. And Chanel. Where are we? There we go. So anyway, this is a childhood memory street of mine that I've always loved and it is something that gives me a lot of brings me a lot of memories um, ever since I was a kid. And this is the look that I'm going for eventually. Kind of an Indian Jim Joseph look. Mustache. I'm gonna get the whole hair thing figured out. I'm gonna work on that when I get back to LA. So as we travel down on with the Sando, this is the Oriental Bazaar right there where you can get some good um, like quality stuff to bring back to the states. This is before the 100 yen shops developed, the 99 cent stores developed all over town. It's the only place to get good stuff was at Oriental Bazaar. Don't you just love that building? Is that cool or what? Forbidden Cafe, Forbidden Fruit. Don't go in there. Okay, well, I am running out of things to say. And if you're watching this, you are probably bored out of your mind. There is Dior, right there. I can't even pronounce these names. And check out this crowd here, straight ahead. Look at that. A lot of people are what? Okay, back to you in the studio.